Hi guys, what's up? My name is Ruby and today I'm filming a video I didn't think I would film anytime soon. Anyway, as you can tell by the title, it is trying Japanese candy and I've never been to Japan and there's a whole story behind why I have a box of Japanese candy with me right now. I'm gonna explain the story while I'm trying the candy. So I'm gonna get to the point right away. It's a box of lots of candy and I would have, it's called the Japan Crate and it's from a website that sells Japanese candy. It was my Christmas gift from a friend. I'll get to that, but yeah, it's there's just a whole lot of candy. There's even like a Japanese Coca-Cola and I was excited for so long to see if it actually tastes like anything different. I'm gonna play it safe and start with the Kit Kat. So there's like a bunch of mini Kit Kats in this box and they all look like this. So there's three flavors, flavored Kit Kat. There's a pink party ice cream Kit Kat. There's a yellow one and there's a sweet party ice Kit Kat. I'm gonna start with the weirdest one and it is the yellow one. And it looks like that. Kind of feels like white chocolate. I don't know if it's blurry or not. Oh my God, throwback to these old YouTube videos. But I'm gonna try it. Hmm. Hmm. It's just a white chocolate Kit Kat. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a white chocolate Kit Kat. So that's a six out of 10 for the lack of excitement. Okay, maybe maybe I should have started with something kind of dangerous. So I'm I'm doing <laughs> this orange flavored fettuccine gummies. So there is juice on the packaging. Maybe we should eat this with juice. I don't know. The good thing about this candy is that it kind of has like it's kind of like a ziploc, so we can close it after you taste it, so that it doesn't stay open. So. Oh, it smells weird. Oh, there's bourbon written here. So maybe this drink is bourbon. Do you think this is something you would drink with bourbon? <gasps> That's exciting. Oh my God, I wish I had bourbon right now, but I don't and we're gonna keep this PG. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's like very sour. It's definitely something I would eat. Like if I were in a supermarket and I was craving gummy bears, I would buy this. I would give this. And nine three quarters out of ten. No, I give this a ten out of ten because of the bourbon, because of the good taste, and because of the zip pack packaging. Look, I'm an architecture student, and design and packaging are really important to me. But I like it. This is the packaging. I would buy it again if I was in Japan. Yeah. So the backstory behind this is that on Christmas I was calling a friend, and for those of you who don't know, I'm currently an international student in Canada. And I have another friend who is my friend in Lebanon who's currently an international student in Germany. And we were calling on Christmas, you know, to celebrate, like to wish each other a Merry Christmas and everything. And while he was calling me, he told me, you know, it really sucks that Amazon does not like have a service to Lebanon. That's a fact. We have no Amazon in Lebanon. Because I would have really liked to do some sort of like secret Santa thing where we could like share gifts with our friends in Lebanon. And I was like, yeah, that sucks. But on the bright side, we both have Amazon and we both, you know, can like practice online shopping. So why don't we share gifts between each other? Now, the reason why I didn't film this earlier, by the way, now it's March and I filmed this, I, I got these in like mid-February. Actually, I got these mid-January. It's been a month and a half that this box has been sitting in my bedroom. And the reason why I haven't tried them earlier is just because I haven't had the time to film this video. And I didn't want to eat them without filming a video because to me, like candy, it's kind of something you eat and you just like throw like throw the packaging away. It's not like I'm gonna leave this packaging as a souvenir, but I really wanted to like leave a memory from this gift because I think it's so funky and it's so fun to have this and to try it. So next, we also have like a sour candy thing. So yeah, oh, it's so cute. It's like, they're all the same. Oh, this smells bad. This is how the bears look like. Oh, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna try this, I'm scared. Okay. So it's a lemon tasting sour candy. It tastes like the Pepsi flavored caribou. Next thing, we're gonna be a little bit ex like tone it down and try chocolate this time. So I've got this packaging right now, right here. It's from the Meiji brand. Oh, it's from the Meiji brand. Okay, so the Meiji brand has also pandas. I don't know if you know them. These are candies we actually had in Lebanon, the pandas. And 
I used to love these candies. Like they were strawberry flavored, chocolate flavors. Never knew these were like Japanese before I was like 18. At 18, I found out this was actually Japanese candy. And I was like, oh, someday I'm gonna go to like a supermarket in Lebanon, buy all the Japanese candy I could find and film a trying Japanese candy video. Next thing you know, I'm already filming this in Canada because my best friend bought me a whole box of Japanese candy. Oh, oh, these are truffles. So these are like truffles, chocolate truffles. It's kind of weird because I expected this to be something like that, like a cake, but it's apparently a truffle, something like that. Yeah, that's like, that's like misleading advertisement because usually whenever you have this kind of design, you would think that these taste like these, but it's actually these that taste like these. Okay, we're trying this. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, it tastes like something. It tastes like, tastes like something I really know the taste of. Hold on. Now I know this tastes like a Lebanese candy. It's like biscuits that look like Oreo, but not really. I forgot their name. Seven out of 10, because it tastes really good, but it's not weird enough for this video. You know what I'm talking about? Like, where's the weird shit? Bring it on. We have something weird right here. Oh, I'm excited for that. So we've got this. Ooh. Ooh, is that a shrink gum? This is a shrink. I think this is a shrink gum. Is it a shrink gum? It smells like a trident. Oh yeah. This is a shrink. Is it? Mm hmm This is a shrink gum. This seems like a magic potion. It's kind of something you mix apparently. So you have this, you have like this kind of weird thing. You add something to it and then you have a fruit. It's kind of weird because usually in candy like culture, it is a fruit that is changed into something weird and you get chemicals out of it. But right now we're changing chemicals into fruits. So it's kind of like a whole reverse culture. It has like question marks on the packaging. So that's very interesting. So this is a game. Oh my God, how does this work? Should I? Let's read the instructions. Oh wait, I don't know how to read Japanese. Oh, okay, so hold on. I'm not that dumb, there's drawings. So you put water in this, you add the mixture, you add another mixture. No, you put the three mixtures, this is not water. This is the blue mixture. So you add the blue mixtures, you add the yellow mixture, you add the pink mixture, you mix them all together and they don't show you the result. How am I gonna know if I did the right thing or if I poisoned myself? Okay, this is fun. This is so weird. What the hell am I doing with my life? This is what I'm getting. Oh, I also have a spoon. I don't know if I showed it to you. There's a spoon. Wait, this is what I got. So I mixed the blue, pink, and yellow mixture together. And this is so gluey. Kind of looks like wax, you know, like the old fashioned wax that made out of sugar. It looks like this and it feels like this because it's very sticky. Okay, anyway. Well, let it stay. Maybe it's gonna become blueberries like it's written on the package and I'm gonna try it later. I'm trying this candy, which is seems very hard. It's also a grapefruit candy. So I'm gonna try this. Okay, let's try a ball of candy. Oh, this is gonna take a while. This is hard. This is like a jawbreaker, jawbreaker without any chewing gum inside. Oh, maybe there is a gum. Is this a gum? Should I swallow this? Yeah, this is a gum. This is like a grapefruit tasting jawbreaker. So my hands are sticky because of this candy. So I'm just gonna eat it right now. Try it right now before this gets any messier. What the hell is this? Jad, are you pranking me again? my god oh my god like they can, do you see this <laughs> am i am i actually gonna try this this tastes like a lot of sugar just a lot of sugar this gets a four out of ten this gets a four out of ten because it tastes like nothing and just sugar no 
not doing this again. Three out of 10, changed my mind. And the gum gets a five out of 10, just because it's so not exciting. There's also this thing. So we have water and we have yogurt. Okay, this looks, it, it feels like gum. So I'm gonna skip the water and yogurt part because whatever. Oh. Oh, this tastes like a candy I used to eat when I was younger. You know the bubbles that were, that comes like rolled up? This is it, this is a shrink gum. Two out of 10 still because I don't know why we have yogurt and water here. If you're Japanese, please explain this, I wanna know. We have crisp and we have a dinosaur eating this crisp, so crisp, so let's try this. Ooh, looks like a Hershey, Hershey's. Seems to me that there's rice inside the chocolate, which doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Let's try this. This is definitely rice. It reminds me of a chocolate cereal that we had in Lebanon. It's called Puppins. One of their flavors was chocolate rice. This tastes exactly the same. This tastes good. 10 out of 10. Next, ice cream. So, ice cream for me. Ooh, chocolate. It's a marshmallow with sugar on it and chocolate inside. Okay, so we had a Japanese candy brand in Lebanon that used to sell marshmallows with chocolate in them. This is exactly the same thing. I love it how in Lebanon we have like Japanese flavored candy. We have all the British candies, we have all the American candies, and we have Lebanese candy, but nobody nobody buys these and nobody encourages local productive productive nest, local merchandise. Because we love like we love everything that's extravagant and that's international. That's why the economy is failing. I said I wasn't gonna talk about politics, but here I am. Seven out of ten, only because if I eat all of this, I'm gonna it's just too sweet for me. So I would never finish it. Let's proceed. Trying this. It looks like chips with beer and onions. I don't have beer again. It's called Kalbi. It's chips and it smells bad. Oh my god, it looks like the the McVickies, Canadian chips. Mm, no, uh, tastes like garlic, it's not onions, it's garlic. Next thing is this chocolate, I opened it, my bad. It's this chocolate thing with apparently coke, oh my God, I still have an aftertaste. Oh. You know what I should try? I should try this Coca-Cola. It's Japanese Coca-Cola. By the way, they sent us a booklet update uh oh, there's a small mistake in your booklet this month. The ribbon Coca-Cola is listed as caffeine free, but it's actually a regular Coca ribbon Coca-Cola with caffeine included. <laughs> as if I have a problem with caffeine. I'm an architecture student. I drink, okay, we're good. I drink more caffeine than I should per day. It smells like hot Coca-Cola because this box was in my bedroom and it wasn't freezing, so. <laughs> Still better than these chips. It gets a zero out of 10 as a Japanese candy and gets 10 out of 10 as a regular Coca-Cola because it is regular Coca-Cola and has nothing special to it. I'm trying this. Looks as if there's coconut in between, which I don't like. I don't like coconut in candy. But it doesn't taste good. No. 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 Adi. 2 out of 10. Okay, so this is a candy I talked about earlier. It's like a cat holding an egg, and this is what's inside. This tastes exactly like this, minus the string gum inside. 6 out of 10. We have two more things. We have this, that has like this inside, and this has like nothing written in English on it, so I really can't tell. Ooh, looks like a chocolate. Anyway, this is like a chocolate thingy. Anyway, yeah, it's chocolate. This tastes like the bad version of Kinder Easter eggs. Four out of 10, not a fan, mm -mm. Next, popcorn, I love popcorn. Japanese popcorn, so it's popcorn and it has soup on it. And there's an Asian guy, old Asian guy, in the picture in the background. I think he created those. Okay, let's try this. Tastes like popcorn. It was a little back flavor of the soup. Mm, tastes good. Tastes healthy. Tastes like fake healthiness. Nine out of 10 for the creativity, man. Who would think of making 
soup flavored popcorn. It's like, you know, whenever you call your friends and you bail on the hangout while telling them you're sick, but you're actually not, you just want to sit in your bed, eat popcorn and watch a movie. This is the right popcorn to eat because it tastes like soup, but it's also not soup, so you don't feel guilty. 10 out of 10 actually. Okay, our last thing I'm really not excited to try, that's probably why I left it to the end. But it is this blue thing. Okay, how, oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, it looks sticky and was just with juice on top and it smells like acetone, like nail polish remover. Okay, this tastes like edible nail polish remover. Okay, it's blue jello with a lot of sugar and smells like a nail polish remover. Okay, two out of 10. So that's that for today's video. Thank you a lot for watching. Moral of their story, this is a good candy, I'm taking it with me to work. And Coca-Cola Jap Coca Japan tastes exactly like Coca-Cola, so... People, stop being racist! <laughs> oh, and this tastes like childhood. And why am I still filming? Thanks for watching, bye! Stay hydrated, kids!